Hey everybody, today we're doing a collaboration with Kathy Jo over at Kathy Jo DIYs. Definitely check out her channel after you watch my video. She is talented and she is funny. So here we go. Um, we were doing, I guess, ornaments and things that can go around the Christmas tree. And I've never done Highland Cow, so that's what my theme is today is Highland Cow. And I'm taking some clay. I got this off Etsy. I think it's called Peppy. And it's really good. I normally hate clay because it always cracks. But I didn't have any issues with this clay. I do highly recommend it. And I will put it in my description box in case y'all want to check it out. Now what I'm doing is shaping out the head. I am not like the best clay person. You know, like I said, I don't use it that much. So just bear with me. But we're just trying to shape his head, okay? We're going to start there. Give it a nice little smush, because I didn't want it too thick. And this clay takes about, it's air dry clay, it takes about, I think, 24 to 40 hours, you know, for things to harden up. I think that just depends on size and thickness and whatnot. So I have water. And so I smoothed out the head, you know, any lump, lumpy bumpies, and then to attach the horns. So if you use water with your clay, it's kind of like a glue, and it glues itself together. Does that make sense? So what I'm doing is just kind of rolling it a piece out, and then we're going to make his horns. Just, you know, bear with me here. Like I said, I'm not a professional. But I was pretty proud of how it came out. So there's that. So there we go. We split it in half. And we're going to have our two horns. This was relatively easy. Um, I think because I didn't really know what I was going to, how I was going to do it. It made it go a little bit longer, you know. But it really wasn't too bad. Yeah, it, there was, like, trial and error with this, so, you know, if I noticed things were too thin or something, I added to it and things like that just to make sure it was all good. And let me tell y'all, so I got his whole head done, right? And then I showed my husband, he goes, where's his ears? Y'all, I completely forgot the cow's ears, but don't worry, I get them on. I just could not believe I forgot his poor ears. But it's okay. We got it taken care of. So I'm just shaping the horns out. I know I'm showing a lot, but I figured with clay that I might need to. You know what I mean? Like more of the process. See how I'm taking the water and just like smoothing it out the best I can. If you hear screaming, I'm so sorry. I cannot help it. My kids are super hyper. So even upstairs, they're that loud. <laughs> so I'm sorry. And now what I do is I really flatten that end. Oh, I forgot I trimmed it down because they were too long. And I'm going to flatten that end real good. Like feather that clay out. So it's easier to attach. See how we're going to feather it out? And then by the time we're done, you can't even tell like the horns there. So it doesn't matter because we still got to do his hair. So there we go. Got his little horns on. And I do take water and go over the, again, the top piece, see? And we're going to really seal that in together. So it's one piece. Yeah, I didn't have any cow stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I just kind of looked around and really thought about how I could do it. What I, how I could make a cow. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. You have to let me know in comments which one you like the most. I got three DIYs for y'all. So I got two things that can hang and I got some ornaments for the tree. Now what we're working on, yeah, I have annoying flies. We still got flies and it's cold. So I'm working on, you know, his nose and stuff and his mouth. So I'm just trying to shape it the best I can. Now 
And don't forget, if you are coming from Kathy Joe's channel, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love to have you join me here. Also, please, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And some of my subscribers, I hope you will go over and subscribe to Kathy Joe and give her some love. So there we go. It's the best I could do. Now I'm using, I believe it's wood, yeah, wood glue. Gorilla wood glue. I love that stuff. And I'm going to attach it. I felt like that would be easier. And I still do smush it in, you know, to make it look a little bit more cleaner. Yeah, that fly, y'all, was just, it kept hitting me in my head, getting in my video. I wish I could give him eviction notice. See how I'm kind of like just smoothing things out and just shaping it. Now what I did was I just went on Google and found an image, you know, and kind of got an idea off that, how to do the shaping and, and whatnot. Now my, uh, my projects are not going to be perfect probably, you know, and it is what it is, but I did the best I could. Do you guys like having cows? When Kathy Jo first suggested it to me, I had no idea what she was talking about. <laughs> I think she thought I was nuts. But then when she showed me the picture, because they got all that hair, then I knew. Like, I knew what it looked like. I just didn't know the name of them. They're super cute. Really cute cows. And I want one so I can snuggle it. Now we're getting his little nostrils on there. And just making a little circle too easy. Using more of that wood glue and getting those on there. Can you see it? It's coming to life, y'all. See, there's the head. Look at the mouth. He's smiling. I did a little grooves in the horns, you know, to give it some, like, definition. Now, this is, um, crap. What's it called? <laughs> A washboard, it's not vintage or anything, so I was okay with using it. I actually have a vintage one. I, I'm not going to be doing nothing crazy too, but this one, I thought this would be a super cute idea. So we're going to wrap the horns on there a little bit. As you saw, I put down some wood glue. Now I'm just getting everything set in place and where I want it, and then I'm going to glue the horns down and everything. Y'all, I know my kids are loud. I am so sorry. I apologize. But it's like 40 degrees out and I don't want to go in my van today. Really, really cold. See how he just shaped his little horn on there? Yep, just cleaning my mess with some Q-tips. Sorry, I didn't need to show all that. Good gracious but when I got to this part I was so excited I was like oh man look at that I'm actually doing it so we're taking this oatmeal chalk paint and we're going to paint the entire thing okay I like the oatmeal color it's kind of like a beigey color. It's really pretty. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit through this whole painting, I promise. I wouldn't do that to y'all. At least I better not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. Now we're taking white. So this white paint, it's not chalk paint. I ran out of chalk paint and I didn't really have $27 to spend on more. This is paint that I got on clearance. It's made for walls, but we're going to use it. It's very, very thin. It's terrible, y'all, but it's okay. We make it work. I tried adding like my baking, whatever it was, baking soda, baking powder, whatever it was to make the chalk paint. It didn't work. And that is rose gold. 
Rust-Oleum Glitter. It's made for walls, but I use it on projects. I get mine from Menards, but I know Amazon's got some, but I think it's just like the clear one. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot. So now we're going back in with the oatmeal for the cow. Now you see how the back of it, all that glitter, I, in the end I do tone that down with that thin white paint because I was like, it's too much in your face. So I end up doing like time, or Lord, I can't talk, toning it down. And you'll see in the end, I think it looks much better and it gives it a nice little texture. So now we're going to fill in his nostrils and his mouth with some Java chalk paint. It's just a really dark brown. That's all it is. So I'm sure you could do this with like acrylic paint. You probably don't have to use chalk. The acrylic might just take a couple, a little bit more coats, you know. But it's doable. All of this is doable with acrylic. I mean, I got that crazy cheap white paint and I still made it work. I just had to do like 30,000 coats. <laughs> I just love watching things. Like when I'm crafting, I love watching things come to life. And there we go. See, I finally got his ears on. Look at that. And I made an indention inside each ear so it really looked like them. Does that make sense? Like we have... Oh, okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm tracing out Mooey Christmas. My handwriting stinks. But I really wanted that handmade look to my words. Sorry, my head's in the way. This is hard to do on camera. I was trying so hard not to get my head in the way. And trying hard not to mess it up too bad. So we're just writing movie Christmas. I'll show you with the Sharpie in just a minute so you can see it. There you go. There's with the Sharpie. Now that is a red, um, I think it's acrylic. No. Might be just a marker. But I used that to kind of give my work. My camera is doing the disco. Sorry. Probably because I'm moving so much. So I just wanted to outline it with a red. Give it a little pop. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm going to take my fat Sharpie. And I'm going to go around all the edges to make this piece pop more. And then we're going to take my finger sander and lightly sand over that. Because we don't want it that sharp. I want it to have more of like a rustic old look. You know what I mean? So here we go. Now we're going to go over that with a sander. Now this is Nubo Jewel Drops. And we're going to go over our lettering to make them look more 3D. I couldn't find my clear one and go figure I found it today. But that one's just like a light gray. But you can't really tell. I mean, we're doing it over black anyway, so it's not a big deal. Don't worry about to move on in a second. Here we go. Now, I thought about hair. And then I thought moss because it's got that curliness to it. You know what I mean? And I wanted my, my cow to be unique, so... We're not going to have moss for his hair. I thought it came out so cute. See how it looks like he's got a perm. Yeah. A very tight perm. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think about the moss hair. I just thought it was so unique and so cute. See how the background behind the cow now, it's not so dark. It's toned down a little bit. I love that look better. I feel like it looks more clean and meant to be there. Does that make sense? There we go. Got his perm on. Now we're going to add some greenery. We're going to decorate our moo cow. Got 
Got to decorate him for Christmas. That was just greenery I had from a pick, and I found it in my stash. And I like the look of it, so that's what I went with. And we're all gonna, also going to take a little bit of that white paint and brush over those so they really pop more. Because they're kind of hiding too much in that moss. We're going to add some bales. We're going to get all this set up first, and then we'll add our white, okay? Got some bells. And these berries, I actually got off that. I think it's called tree garland. I believe. I took them off. And I use them individually usually. It's just easier to work with that way. For me at least. So we're just going to put some here and there. Some green ones. Some red ones. And we're going to add a little flower. I think it's called a poinsettia. I don't know. I found it in my stash. Y'all have to let me know if it's a poinsettia. I don't know flowers. See, there's our flower. Do you want to trim the back a little bit so it sits better? Look how cute that is. Now, here's where we go in with the white. I think I put it on everything except for, like, the hair and the flower. So, I brush it on the berries and then the greenery, I believe. I think that's it. Yep, see, we're putting them on the bells. Look like little snow. I actually have this hanging up behind my Christmas tree in the living room, y'all. Now we're taking some buffalo flat back beads. I got these off Amazon, I mean, years ago. But I think I found some. I'm going to put all the links in my description box. I already wrote down all the links I need to give y'all. So, don't worry. If I can't find the exact ones, I will find something. And here is it finished. How cute. I am so proud of myself for that cow and that clay. I really am. You guys have to let me know what you think. Movie Christmas. Y'all, my throat's messed up. I can't just seem to get better around here in Indiana. It's so cold. Okay, now these little pictures, I will I'll send the link on this. I'll put the link on this too. These are from Etsy. I got, I think it's like 20 digital images for $2. And I use my sprocket. I've had that sprocket for like four years. I got it on Amazon. You could print photos right from your phone. Cow tags are from Amazon. I'm going to show you my sprocket real fast. I love this. You use a little cord to charge it. See there, it's where the paper is inserted. Your printer paper. There we go. I'm going to put the link to that too. In case y'all want to check it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my cow tags all red. And now what we're going to do is cut off those white pieces. And we're going to use the disappearing purple glue stick. To put those on each one of our tags. So these are going to be our ornaments. This is so easy. It was so fun. I think you guys are going to like them in the end. The tags, the um, digital images, the sprocket, that will be in my description box, okay? I absolutely love the sprocket. I do recommend it. It's so easy to use. It's, you know, it's so fun. You just got to get the little printer papers separate, you know, once you run out. Which, that doesn't bother me. So, there we go. Now, we're going to take Irish green and we're going to outline our pictures, okay? This is a super quick DIY
See how we're just outlining the edges? We're going to go all the way around. And then I'm about to show you something really cool with my lighter. But you just have to be careful because I accidentally hit like a teeny piece of my picture on one and it turned it a tiny bit blue. I'll show you in a minute. So you just got to be careful. I got too burn happy. See how that looks? And it, I burned my red but it, and it turned like a green color. It was so cool. See what I showed you right there, the little blue? Watch this. It was like perfect. It went perfect with what I was doing. I was so excited. See that green coming through now? Like I said, if you do this, just be very careful around your image so you don't like heat yours up like I did mine. Now we're about to add our little bows. Each one's going to get a little red and white bow. And then we're going to add our hangers and we're done, y'all. That's it. They're super cute. Super easy. I think I just showed two. Maybe I did all four. I don't know. Oh, there we go. So we're taking red and white Baker's twine and we're going to make our hangers out of that. And that's it, y'all. I think I might need to get this link too. I might have forgot that one. See if I can find you all some red and white Baker's twine if you don't have it. I know Amazon sells it. Y'all look how cute that is. I was like so excited when I found those cow tags because I didn't realize I, you know, had them because I forgot. <laughs> Look how cute. And that's my little handmade Christmas bush <laughs> for displaying my ornaments. Look how pretty those images are. They're so crisp. The digitals were awesome. So definitely recommend those too. Now the next one. Bear with me, okay? So these signs came from Dollar Tree. And I've been holding on to them. Now, what I'm going to do is take the top pieces off, okay? And I'm going to connect these two because it was a little warped. Y'all know when you get some of these signs from Dollar Tree, they're warped. So, you got to kind of double them up. So, it's a nice, thick piece that's not warping everywhere. I'm using sheepskin chalk paint. This is a very pretty color, too. It's like a light beige. More on the white side than the beige side, okay? Now, school glue. The more school glue you use, the bigger your cracks are going to be. We're doing a crackling effect, okay? So, I am loading this up because I really wanted really big cracks in my paint. So, like I said, the more you use, the bigger your cracks. I don't wait for my glue to dry before doing my cracks. That's a purple, purple, Lord help, personal preference. So, you do, if you want to wait for it to dry, fine. This is the way I do it. Now we're going in with oatmeal. So we got sheepskin, which is lighter. Oatmeal, which is darker. Because I wanted subtle cracks. You know what I mean? I didn't want like white and brown. More of a subtle look. And then the magic will start happening. Now you can let it air dry. I... Don't do that. I just go ahead and use my blow dryer. I don't even use this blow dryer for my hair, y'all. I just use it on projects. Can y'all see the cracks happening? I absolutely love... It's like my favorite part. I love watching that. Look at that. Aren't those pretty? So you don't have to go out and buy a crackling medium. That is expensive. Well, to me. So I am taking brown paper bags and we are going to make our cow. I know this sounds weird. Bear with me here. But we're going to rip it up in little pieces. Get us a nice pile going. Now we're going to start creating his head. Like I said, y'all, I was trying to think outside the box on making these cows because I don't have cow stuff. 
I didn't really have the money to go and buy any either. So I was like, we're going to do this. One way or another, we're going to make it work. <laughs> so we're just taking that, that purple disappearing glue. And then we're just going to start patching out his head. And there we go. I think the only thing I wasn't like crazy crazy about was the nostrils of mouth. The mouth looks like he's yelling, but... You'll see. Now we're creating his horns. Don't worry. I didn't forget the ears. I do do those. Now when we're doing the like the nostril area. and we're, What we're going to do is keep layering paper on top of each other. Just keep going and going and going. Until that's more of a 3D than the head. Does that make sense? You'll see what I'm talking about. So right here, see how I'm starting to piece that out? I just keep going and going, adding paper upon paper until that part looks more 3D than the head. It took a while, but it was worth it. Y'all have to let me know what you think. Because I think I got this idea because I saw a deer, right? And it was gorgeous. It was made out of leaves, like faux leaves. So they made a picture, and it was so pretty. I'm like, I want to try that with a cow. I didn't want to use leaves, so I used brown paper bags. See how the nose area looks more 3D? It's popping out more. Y'all, I made this part harder on myself than I needed to. You know, just overlook this. I was having a moment. <laughs> I was taking paper and twisting it. Yeah. My or my brown paper bag, I mean. Because I wanted the pieces thicker. Just don't mind me in my moment. I was on the royal struggle bus with a nose and mouth. I made them harder than it had to be. Sorry, y'all. I cannot breathe. So, yeah, we're just making it into a circle. And then I'm going to use my, I think it's my Barely Art glue and glue those ends together. I think next time if I do this, I might use clay for, like, the nostrils and the mouth. So there's the barely art. So we're just connecting our ends. Well, in a second. See how I was on the struggle was, y'all? I sure was. But when I get an idea in my head, man, I got to do it or I don't sleep. Now we're just using that barely art to attach our stuff. And then I kind of smush it down my roller a little bit. And I do end up trying to shape it a little bit better too. See his mouth? <laughs> Maybe he's singing Mooey Christmas to y'all. Now we're taking some ink. Uh, I used to sell close to my heart. I don't anymore. So I have a lot of the ink. So we're using that. I ended up using my finger. It was easier. But don't worry. It ain't going to look so blotchy in the end. I know it looks blotchy and like what in the world's happening here. But don't worry. We're going to blend it out. Right there I'm using a wipe. You just got to be very careful not to go over the pieces too much. It is paper, after all. You know what I mean? But when you add Mod Podge to it, Mod Podge really helps blend it together, too. So it's not so blotchy. And there we go. We're going to add our Mod Podge.
And that forehead you ain't gonna see anyways because we're adding moss again for the hair. I wanted these two to kind of go together since they're gonna be behind my tree. Y'all, I can't breathe the same in my life. So now we're going in with the espresso. And we're gonna make um like shadowing around the entire cow on the outside to make it pop more. And as you can see, I darkened up the inside of the nostrils and the mouth. I know this is hard to see, but bear with me. But we're just, we're going to outline it again with some Sharpie too. We're going to really make this cow pop. So it don't blend too much into the background, okay? So I want to say um, thank you, Kathy Joe, for collaborating with me. I really appreciate it. See how I did the ears? So I just did like a shadowing in the ears too, so they stood out more for the inside. I know Kathy Joe loves Highland cows, so hopefully... She enjoys my cows, my aversions. So we're just using our hot glue. Here we go. Putting that perm on. You know, it doesn't have a messed up mouth. It's just singing Christmas carols, that's all. I just caught it when it was, you know, singing. That's it. It's all good, right? I hope you guys have enjoyed these DIYs. I really do. The the um clay one and that one. Oh man, it took some time, but it was worth it in the end. I'm so proud of them. See how we're taking a dark brown Sharpie and we're going to outline our cow. So it's really going to pop now from the background. Now we're going to add a red bow that I found in my stash. Now right there is that tree garland nut stuff I was talking about. I found some. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll try again to use it. Okay. No. It, no. Nope. I just put it back. I'm like, nope. <laughs> I just got my separate berries. Works much better for me. I do not like that stuff. There's not many craft supplies I don't like. And that's one thing. But if you take it off the wire, it's great. And then I save the wire for like, um, you could do it for like reeves or anything like that. See, I was like, I was trying to use it. And I'm like, nope. So we got to add our, our bell for our cow. We're going to use gold. And we do add a little bit of white to this one too. So with this cow, what I do is I take my green and red berries and put them throughout her hair. And I really love it in the end. Sorry, y'all. Some of dragging their trash can back up to their house. That's loud. If you can hear it, I saw we. Y'all have already been hearing screaming and running. See how we're just putting it in her hair? And there we go. And now we're going to add our white. I add it to her hair too. I really love how this looked. I was in debate if I should put it on her hair. But once I did, I was like, oh, I love it. She's got highlights, y'all. She highlighted her perm. Now I reattach the hanger. And voila. What do y'all think? Let me know in comments. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much again, Kathy Joe. Y'all, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Stick around. Thank y'all so much. And I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.